More communities in this province are slated to get better and faster connections to the internet. And internet users will then be able to do things online that many others already take for granted. Today, the government announced it'll extend broadband access to more than 5,000 households province-wide. Here and now's Chris O'Neill Yates reports. In communities from Cape Friels to Codroy, from St. Paul's to port of port you'll now be able to do your internet banking, see pictures of your grandkids on Facebook, and do all the things that those of us living in connected communities take for granted. Accompanied by a slick new video production, the business minister announces that 81 new communities will enter the world of modern, faster internet. 98% of the population of Newfoundland and Labrador will have broadband access. For years, people in many communities have been frustrated by the slowness and inconvenience of dial-up internet. Eon Atlantic is one of the companies contracted to install this service. Dale Squires says these last communities are the hardest because of their geography and remoteness. We're installing internet that's going to surpass the capability of what's in the urban environments in most countries. This is what we call the last mile. We're getting into the smallest communities, into the little households. So this is the last mile. We understand the importance, particularly in terms of health care, in terms of education, uh, in terms of economic development through all of our communities. We understand the importance of broadband. Virgio Broadcasting Corporation will be connecting 10 communities. One of them is Codroy. Like a credit union there that didn't have access to a to a uh, broadband service before, which we're going to provide now as well. And uh, I guess I mean uh, it's it's pre you're pretty handicapped if you don't have broadband in any business. Sullivan says there are many examples of where being connected has made the difference for companies in rural areas. Businesses that we currently have are expanding into online businesses and selling product around the world because they can now. Andrew Parsons likes today's announcement, but would like to have seen more. I'm happy to see the broadband where it is, but we're still a deficiency when it comes to cell coverage in this province, including my district. So I was hoping that that might be a part of it. We still haven't seen it. No word yet on when government will get to improving cell service, but this phase of broadband will be completed by 2015. By then, 550 communities will be connected. That's five times the number of a decade ago. To find out if your community is one of the 81 announced today, go to our website, cbc.ca nl. Chris O'Neill Yates, CBC News, St. John's.